all that really happened was I reached out to, to Jordan, who's my RA, um, and I talked to Cam about like what was going on for so much cup, if he needed any help. Um, and then Cam basically just reached out to me. Um, and it was just like, hey, I'm gonna put your name in for so much cup captain if you wanna do it. So I'm like, bet, I'm down. Um, and so me and my friend Jermaine ended up getting put into uh, so much cup captain. So we both led the pack for Ringer, I guess. I'm Cam Dangler. Um, I'm the resident coordinator of Ringer Hall. I've been in three Selfish Cups, one, two of them. And this year, I kind of coordinated what all of my RAs and captains will be doing with events and stuff. I kind of coordinated all of Lip Sync and got, got things running for Dance Off. Uh, yeah, kind of just was like supervising everything. Hey, what were some of your highlights for this year's Selfish Cup? I would say the biggest thing for me now at this point when I participate in Selfish Cup is seeing that other people in Rinker are growing in bonds, that they're enjoying um, the events that they're in, enjoying being a part of the community of PBA. Um, and in Rinker we have this thing called Brotherhood and just seeing the Brotherhood grow as well. All right, and what, in previous experiences when you've won, what is that feeling of winning the Selfish Cup like? Um, winning is really fun. It's like, you know, just the best bragging rights you can have on the PBA campus. Um, but I didn't win this year. I got second. Of course, I want to win it selfishly. But I've learned that with participating in the Selfish Cup, what matters most is seeing community grow over with. I mean, overall, there was a lot of different types of feelings going on, but I think the biggest feelings were definitely um, just pure excitement. Just excited to be able to represent Ranker and uh, bring a bunch of people together just to do something fun. Um, and it's definitely stressful, um, especially just because we brought it all down to the wire. Um, we were up to like 2.30 Saturday night, um, just making props, making sure that lip sync was gonna go well. Um, and we ended up winning lip sync, which was a huge, for us, so even though we didn't win the whole thing, we were super excited that uh, we took the first place for the lip sync. Um, and overall, I just had a great time. Um, I love Parker, I love the energy, and, um, I love the community here, so I think it's definitely worth just getting into and being all in uh, for Selfish Cup. I think the most important part of being a part of Selfish Cup, at least if you're in charge of running things, like being a captain or being an RA, is to look for growth within the people that are participating with the community um, and also just like really pushing people in their leadership roles because like you'll see Selfish Cup captains and a lot of those people actually end up being RAs and um, I think something I learned this year is just it's not always about winning of course as like a competitive person you want to win but the most important thing is to see the development of the community on campus um, and just to enjoy that time together. Just to have fun and create lasting memories that you're always going to look back on.